I just wanted to do a simple demonstration with this solar panel. This is a 200 watt folding solar panel from Bluetti. And I just wanted to demonstrate the difference between using the solar panels indoors versus outdoors. Where I've got it set up right now is the sun is coming through two panes of window and then I have the blinds that are there as well. We're gonna plug this into the MC4 connectors that come with the panel and we'll plug it into the input. Right off the bat we start off with 13 watts, 18 watts. Okay, it's showing 18 watts. Something to note as well is you can see on the panel the top portion along all four panels is covered with a little bit more shade from part of the curtains. And on the right side, the couch is covering the bottom section. And even right here, the couch is blocking the sun. For reference, this is the window that I'm talking about. There's two panes of glass, and then you've got the blinds that are coming down with this little curtain stuff on top. So it's a large window. Of what sun there is shining on the panels, it's generating 18 watts. Now, if I close the blinds, it's at 17 watts, 16, zero. We're down to zero watts, just like that. And if I slowly start opening them again, we're still at zero, still at zero, zero. Then now we're, we jump to 11 watts, 12, 13, and if I open it up even more, that's 14, 17, 18, 19, 18 and 19. Looks like we're gonna peak right about there. Now, of course, you could put them in the actual window. Let's see what difference that would make. Not the easiest task in the world. Okay, and that's probably a good angle to test. If we look at the power station, boom. We're up to 87 watts, 88 watts now. Just transitioning from the floor directly to the window and getting the blinds out of the way. So 88 watts, that is quite a difference. And that's actually not too bad. For a 200 watt panel producing 87 watts, it's almost noon. The sun is at a pretty good angle. One thing to note, it is almost November, so the sun isn't at the greatest angle, but for what, given what it is, producing 88 watts, that's, that's pretty impressive. Now let's take it outside and, and test it that way. Okay, so we got the solar panel outside now, and we're at a good angle for the sun. So if I plug it in now, first reading we get 11 watts, 58, 98, 99, huh. we're sticking at about 99 watts. I'm surprised it's not more. I'm going to plug that in again. Right off the bat we've got 14 watts. 57, 98, 99, 100, 99. That's interesting. I I really expected it to, to, to be outside that it would produce a lot more watts. Yeah, I'm a little baffled right now. Looking at the whole solar panel, nothing's covered in shade. The whole thing is in full sunlight, except for maybe this piece right there. And we are still at 99 watts, 96. Kind of surprisingly, these windows must be super clean or something, but they're not. Um, you can see there's water marks on them and whatnot. They haven't been cleaned in who knows how long but that's very interesting. Just as a recap, on the floor inside the house, pointing at the sun with the blinds down, we were getting close to 20 watts. 
Then, as soon as I put the panels right in the window, which it's got two panes, two panes of glass, and they're not clean. I just had this panel angled at the sun and it produced about 88 watts. Then moving outside with no obstructions at all, we're producing only like 10 to 12 watts more at 100 watts. So don't get me wrong, I mean, to produce 10 to 12 watts more right at 100 watts, that's, you know, that's like 10 to 15% more watts. That's nothing to gripe about, but I was really thinking that if it was producing 88 watts inside, that if I brought these panels outside, we'd probably produce closer to like, I don't know, 130, 150 watts at least. Yeah, closer, I was thinking we would get closer to almost double the wattage just going outside, but apparently that's not the case. Anyways, I'm quite surprised because the first test on the floor inside the house at 20 watts, that's not really surprising at all, uh, especially with the blinds covering a lot of the sun. But then putting them in the windowsill, that surprised me that it, it got clear up to 88 watts. That's that's almost half of what the 200 watt panel is, is capable of. But then moving to outside, I was really thinking I'd see at least 125 watts, if not more, maybe like, you know, 125 pushing 150. But that's not the case. So, and, and then on top of that, the windows are dirty. They're not really clean by any standard. This was an interesting test to run. You know, th this this something like this is gonna be very beneficial for people who live in condos where they don't really have access, well, they don't have easy access to a backyard or a place where they trust to leave their stuff outside. Um, based on this, if you've got a window that is situated at a at a good direction or angle towards the sun then you know you could run your panels indoor and and keep them out of the weather and but yet still produce power from inside your house so good news for for that type of situation anyways thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next one